Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from AzureAutomation.com and welcome to another video of our Python for Automation Testing series. And in this video, we're going to talk about condition statements and looping statements in Python. This is also one of the most important concept in Python and in any programming language, while in automation testing, for sure, while we do assertions, we need to have the if statements and we'll loop through to get multiple data as we need the looping statement. So condition statements and looping statement are so important for any programming language and they are the building blocks of any program that we write in automation testing as well. And that's what we'll be discussing in this particular video. The first one is the if condition. So in any programming language, you might have seen that there is something called as an if condition where you're gonna write something like if the name on the top as you can see over there is equal to Kartik something like that if it is then just print me the value of yes if not what we used to do is we use this else statement something like this and then you can see that it tells you the pass I mean the pass don't worry about the pass yet I will talk about that later but you can just tell something like no but note that while I write this if condition I have used a colon and I'm just given an equal to. Let's just try to run this code and see what's really basically happen and we'll see if there happens any error, how to fix that. If that don't happen any issue, we will see why it has not happened. So if I execute this code, you can see that it throws me an error here. So you can see that I'm actually using an assignment operator, which is single equal to. So in many programming language, there will be something called as double equal or in some programming language, there is something called as hyphen EQ. And in some programming language, there is something called as dot equals to do an equal operation. And similarly, in Python, it is basically double equal to tell you that this is equal or not. And because you're doing a string equal in here, you need to do something like this. All right, so I'm just gonna save this guy. And now if I try to execute this code, you can see that the code is actually working fine. And it tells me, that it's yes, meaning uh, it is actually true. So you can see that the name is actually matching as Karthik. So if I just give something like Karthik, something like that, I'm just gonna save this. And now if I try to execute this, it gives me no. Basically, of course it is not matching. So this is how you can do the condition statement and there is an else statement as well. And any method or any class or any condition that you write there is nothing called a braces in any other programming language something like this so you don't really have a brace in a python programming language something like this and similarly you can specify something like this and then you're gonna write within the braces like that this is not the syntax of the python itself so even if you try to do this and if you try to execute this you're gonna get a lot of errors it's gonna say that invalid syntax basically it is not even a thing in Python. So you don't really have to do that. All you have to do is just a colon, super simple, and that's it. This is the only syntax that is available on the Python programming language. And again, it shortens the code a lot and it is even very, very easy to understand. In Python, basically, it's all about the intendation as well. So you can see that Visual Studio Code is basically doing it for us. I'm not really doing anything. You can see there are like four intendation, one, two, three, four. There are like four spaces uh, for this print statement. So if I just move a bit, something like this, if I hit uh, save and if I try to execute this code, you can see that it throws me an error message. Now let me make this. You can see that is an intendation error. Expected an intended block on the particular code. So basically in Python, you need to maintain the intendation. So far, the line of code that we wrote in our earlier videos, we don't really have to worry about intendations because we just wrote as a separate statements. But since if condition really is going to expect you to have an intendation, something like this, because it's a follow up statement within an if condition, you have to give the intendation. If not, the code is not going to work. And basically, you're going to get an intendation error in Python. Again, if you have started programming Python like seven years or eight years before, you probably will be using a text editor and you may not have a very good IDE, something like what you have today, and you might have faced some issues on the intendations and stuff. But right now, the IDEs are super intelligent and it's gonna 
automatically intend the code lines for you and you don't really have these silly error that we are currently getting like intendations. So you will never even get those kind of error and you will straight away get the screwy line on the error saying that particular line of code is not valid. That's it. So this is how you can actually work with the if statement in Python. And there is another statement like else if statement in Python where you're gonna specify one more condition if not, what about this condition? So for instance, if the uh, salary range, let's assume this is the one. So if the salary, uh, let's say if it is thousand, then print salary as thousand. Else if salary, so you don't really have something like an else if like in any other programming language. But instead in Python, there is something called as ELIF, which is like a statement within a statement like else if statement where you're gonna specify what is the other condition that you're gonna specify over here. So you can tell that else if salary is equal to let's say or, or maybe less than thousand then print salary less than thousand something like that. Something like that. Uh, I'm just making a statement over here and now if I try to execute this code you can see that get thousand over here because the salary is actually thousand. But if your salary, let's say you're gonna reduce from 1000 to maybe uh, 900, something like that. And if you try to execute this code, you can see that you get that message, something like salary less than 1000. So this is what is like an else if statement within uh, Python. And there is even more shorthand form within uh, Python where you can uh, write something like an colon uh, and then like a one statement. So basically if you want to say if is married is equal to true then print is married something like that you can also do something like this and if I try to execute this you can see that I get something like is married over here so you can also write in one line statement and again these are the way that you can actually work with and you can also do something like a condition like and or operation the keyword is like and uh, in that case something like that so uh, I mean you can just keep going into Python like uh, how you can work with each and every statement. I mean all those things are pretty much like other programming's resemblance and this is how you can actually work with the condition statement within Python. The next one is the looping statement. But in order to understand this particular looping statement we need to actually have what is called as an array where we can actually set some value and then we can loop the value into it. So we can probably talk about array in our next video and then we can talk about the looping statement because that makes even more sense and then you can see how you can perform a loop operation not just while loop but with for loop and for each in python meet you in our next video